Hi, tubers. My feet really hurt tonight. After my workout, I am giving myself a foot massage. So I've put some kind of, it's baking soda and some stuff. I don't know what it is. And some Shoals Fresh Foot Bod in the water, which is really hot. And I'm taking off my nail polish. Then I'm going to soak my feet, and then I'm going to massage them. I won't soak them for very long for the video. Okay. Guys, this is what we go through to look nice for you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. We do it for us. Okay, so taking the nail polish off. I've already done the other foot. Okay, I'm not going to do it that big a deal. Okay, so my left foot hurts the most, so I'm going to soak that for just a few minutes, just not too much for the video. I'll do it again later. And then I'm going to use Tom Tom Mama, which is peppermint foot lotion, and some Lasitan foot cream. Okay. Normally I would stick my feet maybe half an hour first, but you can see the difference. I've got a band-aid on my foot, so I'm going to try to take that off. It's actually cellophane tape, so I couldn't find a band-aid except for the kids and they were too small. Okay, so that, I'm going to use the... Lacetan for the massage lotion. I'm just about that much. And I'm not really going to do too much with my ankle because really it's my foot on the bottom that hurts. Can. Oh, I'm nice. Okay. Yeah, so. So the foot soak was to warm up my foot, but I still like to kind of go over my foot. And yes, I've not shaved, so <laughs> hopefully you can't see that in the video. <laughs> okay. So I just kind of... You can see what I'm doing, so I think I'll just let you listen to the music. I'm squeezing my foot now. And then I kind of add the toes in a little bit at a time. And since my nails are long, I have to be careful not to stab myself. I actually got a callus on my foot that, from walking, so that was what was hurting also. And the floors are really hard here, and I'm used to walking barefoot, and it's making my feet hurt, so I have to remember to wear indoor shoes. Just get some more of that whenever you need some. Oh, let's see the, oops, okay, actually you can see my foot in the video, okay, barely, okay, um, just sort of taking my thumb and kind of with this, my left hand, 
I'm massaging my toes the whole time and then with my right hand I'm just kind of doing circles really kind of hard. This is the third massage I've given my foot today because it really hurts. And again, my can you see that? Uh, my nails are kind of long, so I just have to. I can't do like certain things, like if my fingers are down like that, because that would hurt. So if you're a guy, you could probably do, or if you have short fingernails, you could kind of press down also. But instead of using my fingers for that, I'm going to use the knuckles to do that. Okay. Music. And I'm pressing fairly hard. And this is where my foot hurts, so I'm kind of focusing on that. My ankle doesn't really bother me, so you can massage your ankle too, but not really that bothered about my ankle. And also the reason I'm holding my toes is I'm kind of bending my foot a little bit back and forth and kind of holding it hard, which is sort of helping. And you can switch hands. So I'm not just holding my toes, I'm actually squeezing them while I'm massaging my foot. This cream actually smells really of lavender, I'm not sure, it's a little strong. And I'm just kind of moving my fingers back and forth, but really, really firm and hard. So I'm pressing really deeply into my foot. My hands are actually hurting because, like I said, the third massage I've given my foot today. Oh. And actually, what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to soak my foot just again for a couple of seconds. And normally I would if my foot hurts as much, soak it for maybe 10-20 minutes in the beginning and then in the middle of the massage soak it again and start over. Okay. Water is really, really, really hot. Okay, you get the idea. And while my foot is soaking, I'm also bending my toes like that and I'm moving my foot out so that hurts and that hurts so I'm just kind of moving my foot into the water while I soak it and that helps okay again I would do that for longer and keep some towels so you can wipe off your foot this lotion isn't very good with wet feet. But you get the idea. Use whatever lotion you like. And just kind of start over. And right now I'm actually taking my nails down my foot so that I can barely feel my nails. Just be careful you don't break your nail. Okay. And then I'm going really hard back and forth. Ow, kind of hurts, but when I'm done, it'll feel better. And I'm doing that on the top of my foot also and squeezing my toes as I do it with my other hand. And I'm just making circles. And I'm doing this very firmly all along my foot. And I'm kind of bending my toes a bit as I do it. And you can flex your 
foot and point it. So bend your foot in different directions while you massage. And that helps. And now I'm not doing it so hard, but still fairly firm. And kind of you can put your fingers through your toes and kind of do like that also. And I'm firmly squeezing my foot with my other hand. And you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'll make a better video when I have time. <sighs> Bit of a cold today. So I'm just doing circles. This part of my foot really hurts. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my knuckles and just kind of use them really firmly instead of, if you don't have long nails, you can use your fingers firmly like that, but I have nails that are too long to do that. And do it in whatever direction you can do it up and down, or you can do it across um, in circles. And you can also just use your thumb and switch hands whenever you feel like it. Okay, I'm going to suck my foot again. So I like to do this after the arms workout I added to my playlist when my feet hurt like today. And also when you soak your foot in the water when you bring it out, you can use the water as a lubricant. So you don't have to keep adding lotion every single time. just re repeat what you're doing and it might actually hurt while you're massaging but it'll feel better when you're done and remember to flex your foot in the water and and point your toes in the water oh. ah it really hurts <laughs> And if you can't do it with just your foot, then just use your hands to flex and move your foot. But it kind of helps if you can do it with your foot without using your hands to flex it. Okay, it's feeling a bit better. dry my foot off again. Okay. Um, gonna use the other lotion. Oh, here it is. Okay. And actually, if you're gonna paint your toenails, you should do that at this point. And then add the final lotion. This is peppermint lotion from Ireland. Think Ireland, Tom Tom Mama. It's really great. Not that I'm pregnant now, but I got it when I was pregnant with our youngest, and it's really, really great. It soaks in. It smells really great. And I'm not massaging so hard now. And don't forget the top of your foot. So, uh, so you can squish so the top of your foot to kind of point your toe and you can add your ankle in there. 
Alicia's almost all absorbed into my foot now. Okay, and then I'm going to put um, a sock on. Maybe if I can figure out where the... Oh, here's the bottom. Okay. Ow. God, that hurts. Okay. That's much better, but my foot still hurts. Okay, I'll just do the other one real quick. So the other one doesn't hurt as much. I'm not going to do the same exact massage on it. So I'll use the um, lavender cream from the Lusitan. And if you can't hear me, I'll write something in the description. Okay. How about if I move the camera? There. Better? And down. Okay. Not very comfortable position. All right, so again, for this foot, it doesn't hurt that much, so I've warmed the muscle of the foot in the hot water, and I'm just going to move my ankle a little bit, and just kind of go up and down. So now you can see the top part of my foot mostly on this foot, and see what I'm doing. So I'm not doing this too hard. A little firm, but mostly kind of lightly. And just go through each toe. Just kind of roll the toe through your fingers. Not so that it hurts. Uh, sorry, a bit of a cold, sniffly nose tonight. And just kind of go all the way up and down your foot to each toe. And use your other hand at the bottom and just sort of, you're gently moving your foot all the way down the bones in your foot. And then coming around to the top. Okay, and now squeeze your foot. Cool. Okay, so can't see. Okay. And kind of. Just take your foot in your hand and squeeze. And if you want to repeat anything, of course, do. I'm going to get some more lotion. There's a Swedish lotion that has elderflower chamomile or something in it. It's really great, but I can't remember the name right now. I can put it in the description. Kind of go all the way around your ankle and move your hand around the ball of your foot. Or what is that? The heel? Is this the ball? Whatever. This part. <laughs> And I have a scar on the bottom of my foot that sometimes hurts, so I'm just kind of moving my hand down the scar. Now I'm... can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm... Taking my thumbs and just pressing them on the bottom of my foot, not as hard as my other foot because this foot doesn't really hurt. So this massage on this foot is just more relaxing. And you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of taking my this hand to hold my foot. And this hand I'm taking my thumb. I'm taking my hand around my ankle and then my thumb around that part of my foot and pressing medium light. So my the weight of my foot is relaxed on my hand and the the bucket that I'm using for my massage fits my foot perfectly so 
I had a bigger one, but this one's really works better, so I like this one better. Okay. And I'm, I like to include my toes in the whole process rather than just a little bit at the beginning or end of the massage. And I'm taking my fingers and not using my nails so much going down my foot. If you don't have nails, then you could use more of the tips of your fingers. When I do that, you can obviously it's like climb my foot. So I'm making sure that I'm not clawing myself. And if you don't have nails, you could do it more in that direction. Okay. And you can use your knuckles um, again like that. I don't really need to do that because this foot doesn't hurt. So I'm just doing this more relaxing. And repeat anything you like. And I like to kind of, for the relaxing massage, if my foot doesn't hurt, then I like to focus more on my toes and the front of my foot also. And just kind of squeeze up and down like that. Okay, I'm going to soak the foot because I don't want this on the end of... I want the other lotion on my foot. I don't really want them to smell of lavender. Okay. And again, I would soak my feet longer. This is just a quick video. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna put the tom tom on. Okay. So include more of your leg with this. Make sure you get all your toes. And again, if you were going to paint your toenails, I would do it before I put the lotion on. And I'm just doing this really lightly. And just lightly including the toes and the ankle. And switching up which hand kind of controls the foot. Just making sure the foot is always relaxed. And either taking the weight in one hand or the other. And once this lotion dries, you could actually... This one's very good. It, it doesn't get greasy. You can also paint your nails after this one. Okay. Other sock. So there's the end of the foot. I'm just going to add a sock. Oh. Okay. And if you want to massage your hands, just kind of do the same thing. And just kind of do the bottom of your hand and go around like that and just pretty similar to how you would with your feet okay Ta -da. bye bye